Topping our newscast this evening, after a 43-year-old man is arrested at the Bozeman Public Library for exposing himself to children, MTN's Caitlin Corbett tells us what safety measures are in place at the library. You know, with a public building that has a high volume of people coming and going, in some ways nothing is surprising, but at the same time every day is surprising. Saturday was one of those more surprising days when 43-year-old Samuel Rodriguez reportedly exposed himself in the children's section of the Bozeman Public Library. Employees from the library contacted 911, <clears throat> gave a description of, this, of a male who had entered the children's area of the library, um, exposed his genitals um, in such a manner that was um, offensive um, and that um, he was leaving the library and that someone from the library had followed him and was giving information to dispatch as the officers were on their way there. Rodriguez has since been arrested and charged with indecent exposure to a minor. But the library wants to remind the public of its preparedness to deal with these types of situations, starting with their behavior policy. We have, I think, 16 to 18 specific behaviors that are listed, and those include things like you no know, drinking alcohol in the library. Um, it's, some, it's a pretty specific policy. It covers almost any kind of misbehavior you can think of. And the reason being that we want to help people understand that, you know, they're welcome here if they behave appropriately and if they don't, their consequences. And the Bozeman Public Library does have extra safety measures in place through their substation partnership with the Bozeman Police Department. We do have the Bozeman Police here. They come and go. They do a lot of walkthroughs. They take good care of us. We also do a lot of staff training. And the staff is empowered to call the police. They're empowered to intervene. Um, we take safety very seriously, and especially for children. And Gregory hopes the community can find comfort in the library's handling of this type of incident. This is the kind of thing, unfortunately, that can happen in any public space. So the plus side is um, our staff is trained to handle that and to hopefully be proactive and on top of the situation. So that's to give people a sense of security. In Bozeman, Caitlin Corbett, MTN News. Rodriguez's bail is set at $500,000.